Hey everyone, welcome to our first person gameplay commentary. My name is Driver. This time around, I'm playing Hebo. He's a magical damage dealer. He's pretty high burst. He has some nice scaling effect with his passive. Um, he's a pretty high quality, high tier picked uh, god. A lot of a lot of high tier players will pick him. He's very stable. He has a lot of good abilities and has high damage. He's really good in team fights. So he's definitely one of the better magical damage dealers. Oh, this game. Let's see. What do we got? As long as we don't get 300 of the gods, I'm going to go for a noob orb. Let's do some noob orb action. I haven't noob orbed in so long. It's a noob orb game. It's a noob orb time of game. Let's see what we got. Alquan's going to be mid. Bakasura jungling right. Possibly with Odin. Maybe Anubis. <laughs> Oh god. Um, okay, so here's my passive. I'm gonna go over the abilities real quick. My passive is called Steady Flow, and basically what happens is when I cast a spell, any one of my spells, um, it increases my magic power by up by five percent. This stacks up to three times, which will increase my magic power by fifteen percent as long as I'm constantly casting spells. My first ability is called Water Canyon. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up first. And basically what you see here, he spews out water. Everything he does just spews water. It's kind of like the shorthand. Um, but it spews water in the area, does damage. His second ability is called Flood Waters, and basically he summons a river in front of him, which if he both steps on it, will have increased movement speed. If enemies step on it, they will have decreased movement speed by the same amount. Uh, his third ability is called Water Spout, and basically it's a small, very small uh, circular area, but it spews up water from the ground, knocks people into the air and doing damage. If they are moving, it will knock them in the direction they are moving. So if they're running away from them, it'll knock them, it'll knock them further away from you. If they are running towards you and you do it, it'll knock them towards you. So it's kind of like a, a trickery type thing going on there. And his ultimate's called Crushing Wave. Basically, Hebo turns into a giant tsunami, surges forward, and uh, does magical damage to everyone he runs over. It's a decent distance, and it is a dash. It carries Hebo to the location at the end of the dash. So you can get yourself into some sticky situations if you're not careful. An ally has been slain. Oh, I wasn't covering blue. That's my bad. That is totally my bad. I was chatting. <laughs> uh, so I've got a new board. See what I can do with this new board. Hopefully I can bait him into using a... Uh, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. So this is the water spout. It's a little bit small, but it, it does some some significant damage. Sorry, it's the first thing in the game in the morning. I'm really tired. I still haven't woken up yet. I still have my coffee next to me. You might hear me drinking it. This guy's pushing really hard. Rude. That was really good by him. Shouldn't have got hit by that. Problem with the new orb is you're just so freaking slow. How calling it fucking around? Maybe I shouldn't have gone for a new board. A lot of people do max out the water cannon first because it has higher base damage just by the spell than uh, water spout. But water spout has higher scaling than water cannon, so it's kind of like this thing where you get water spout or water spout water cannon first in the early game, and then you work towards uh, water cannon. I am not even saying that right. I'm just gonna stop. Shouldn't have got hit by that, but it doesn't hurt me as much as it hurts them. Oh, Kwong's going to be going for Warlock Sash. This pushing is never going to stop. He has a uh, better push early on than I do. He's going to go for a Squall. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay, buddy. How much do I need? I need 750. 750. This guy's pretty good. He has his ultimate now too. So we might go for a squall ult, but I'm at full HP, so. Don't do it. <laughs> He's so rude. Oh man, this will be an interesting game. They're up by a decent amount of gold just because Odin has two kills. Wow, who knew? Your middle tower 
Go finish up my new board. And this is a stacking effect. The only it, it gives a lot of magic damage. The only downside is that if you die, you lose all the stacks on it. I have to stack it up again. So it's kind of like a trade-off thing, um, risk versus reward. If you don't die a lot, if you're playing really, really well, then it'll pay off. But I mean, I I, I never recommend um, this item, do more or um, uh, heart seeker unless you're in a pub game and you're just messing around just because it has so many downsides to it. I mean, there's no, uh, if you're in an equal game against people of equal skill level, um, you're pretty much not gonna have zero deaths unless you're playing so carefully that you're losing team fights. Like you literally need to have, need to have like a perfect team comp. He went back to finish his Warlock Sash though. You need to be careful here because he's uh, getting pretty buff. Getting pretty buff. Thing is, is like he hasn't finished his Warlock Sash yet, and he's more survivable right now. So if I can get a whole bunch of stacks up on my uh, new orb, then I'll be in really good shape. I shouldn't have stepped in that. That was bad. I'm gonna go for a squall. I really need boots. What a jerk. Playing really poorly. Really poorly. Your right tower is under attack. <coughs> An ally has been slain. I'm wondering if I can go for a kill here. If I get a few more stacks up on my Doom Orb, I can probably go for the kill here. That's pretty high regeneration. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower has been destroyed. He got my tower, but I got his life. It's a decent trade. I need to get some boots ASAP. Got my new board, but I can't move. Alquong is really, really good mid. One of the strongest mids in the game currently. Um, I'd say behind like Hell. Hell's probably the strongest as far as overall. Um, just because Alquong is like really, really strong push and good control. Um, as you can see by the fact that he killed my tower at uh, five minutes. Oh, Hebo's push is decent, um, but it kind of it, it needs to happen or it starts peaking out at like level five to six um unlike uh, alquong which is like level three or so um every every mid character has uh push at different times but now that i have that hero kill and some farm i'm hitting pretty hard i'm wondering if they're there or not looking for an opportunity to gank but we're still pretty slow i need to get floodwaters I would have gotten it sooner, but uh, Alquang was just focused on pushing, which means I was going to be in tower range pretty much the whole entire time. Someone's coming behind me? What does this mean? What do you want? And that's pretty much it. All I needed to do was dodge his tornadoes there. He's faster than me. I have significantly weakened Al Kuang, so he, if he comes in, he might die. This guy's faster than me. You have 
have slain an enemy. An enemy has been slain. A mighty sword! See, Poco! Nice job! Oh, I think I'm just gonna finish my boots now. Oh, I can't. Come on, a little more. Um, so that's Hebo. You can see how like, I don't have a hundred to zero burst, kind of like Agni or um, Anubis, but I have like really sustained, constant burst. Like my abilities have really short cooldowns, so I constantly just keep spamming them, spamming them, spamming them. And the more I cast, the more uh, magic power I get. And I have my new Borb too. So, oh, coffee, the blood of life. Bestette's coming to say hi. Hello. Welcome to my lane. Now my push is good. I'm scared to help left lane because they're not. We don't really have a lot of control. We're all really squishy. We have a Cupid Bastet and they have um, an Odin ult. If I get caught in the Odin ult. Oh, there is a bug right now where you can crushing wave out of the Odin ult. Do they know me? I feel like they know me. Oh, what's up? Retreat! Retreat! Why? What? Oh. Oh, Bastet. You're going crazy. And there we go. They want my nuts, man. They want them. My nuts are famous. What are you doing? Where you at, Al? Owie. Where are you at? The Dargan got away. Oh, he's a shifty Dargan. Shifty Dargan. Where'd you go, Dargan? <laughs> so that's the power of the new board. As you can see. Let's see if they have magic protection. They kind of don't. Let's go for some slows. Let's go for some slows. Maybe should have gotten beads, but whatever. I've got a new board. Got my new board, noobing it up. So we're uh, still behind in gold, actually. Um, a lot of deaths on my team. Mm. I was drinking. Money, money, money. So my new board is capped out now. I have 240 magic power, which is absurd. Ooh, they grouped up. A three gank. I'm impressed. Bastet's all alone. Oh, Bastet, don't go around. No. <laughs> don't do it. No. 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 Oh, Al Kong. Welcome back. You thought you had this game in the bag, didn't you? Uh, the problem about Hebo is uh, a lot of his abilities are very, very small area effect, um, and they happen quite quickly, and it's very easy, because if you, uh, there's a casting animation for all the abilities, which means if I cast this and then turn, I don't know if you've seen it so far, but if you cast it and turn, it will actually, um, because of the delay from the animation, you will cast it here instead of where you originally casted it. Um, so there are some, it's very easy to miss the abilities with Hebo. It's very, very easy. I'll watch out for that mummify, that that right there that thing why am I so much slower I'm gonna steal this kill or not oh, where are you going take the tower oh, it's hoping he would man up it's hoping 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 give me experience yes there's a Dargan retreat retreat 
Here we go. I got my beads now. Got my bead, bead, beads. We're doing decent. We're actually caught up in gold. Go team. Go, go team. Oh, we're grouping up. This is like a group thing. I'm not even invited. Got my move speed. It's so slow. It's okay. I'll have my uh, gem soon, which will slow them. Oh, Bakasura, where are you going, homeboy? Oh, that's where he's going. He's done. There it goes. Aww. So sad. Jack that shit. It's all mine. So, such a jerk. <laughs> Such a jerk. Zeus is starting to get some push. If I can land all three of my spells, I can kill this guy. For sure. <laughs> Stop it! Jerk. Curses! Let's go. They don't even know I'm here. I think they think I left. So let's go. I need to be careful because maybe someone will show up. But no. Hey. None of that. None of that. <laughs> he just trying to mummify me. <laughs> and it's over. Hey. Hey, sir. Aw. We're killing it. We're killing it. Somehow. We fed really hard in the early game. The slow doesn't pull tower aggro, which is nice. You see how since he's standing in it, he doesn't go very fast. Throw out the tornadoes. Oh, here's an Anubis. chase that. We're only two. We're only two. No. Oh god. If need be, you can use your ultimate to dash. Like right there. I would have died. I lost all my new orb stacks, but he's just gonna tornado. I don't want to die to that. That was a decent trade for them. They might be up in gold. No, they're not. We're still up in gold. Still up in gold. That's good. Good things. Um, I'm gonna go for some some wards. Why not? Why not? I can do it all. I can do it all. We're doing pretty good. Um, best at. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch up soon. I'm not doing ultra well. I'm trying to come behind and help out this Odin if they decide to dive, but. Come on. Is ready. Oh, I should have picked a target there. Should have just gone for Ra. I thought Odin was going to turn around and fight, so I wanted to go for the target that was furthest, um, but he didn't. <laughs> he just kept on running. See how I turned there? It had all three of them targeted, but it turned, so I wasn't able to get that last hit. We can take the Gold Fury right now. VAG, vag it up. Vag it up. It's just an Odin. What are they gonna do? Oh no. Don't be rude to me. That's a bug. I'm not supposed to be able to do that, but I'm gonna abuse it for now. Uh, dashes can't uh, go through Odin's spears, but there's a bug right now. 
Oh shit, I heard that. Oh. Uh, not really a whole lot that can be done about that. Odin's going hard. Going hard in the paint, man. Look at that, Bakasura. Yes! Take one. Aw, oh, too soon. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Ugh, what a game. What a game. I think I need... I think I need... I think I need... I think I need... Nothing. I don't need anything. I'm perfect. Ooh. So they're coming back a bit. We're actually uh, only up by about 600 gold right now, which is insignificant. I'd say it's about dead even. Um. <laughs> yeah, just to be clear, uh, the dashes don't go through Odin's spears, but for some reason, Hebo's, uh, Hebo's ultimate is going through spears right now. You don't want to use Aegis Shield to initiate like that or to go in. You want to save it for a retreat always. Is this a bait? I think this is a bait. Best that's pushing. That's good because she's behind. She fed a little bit in the early game, so she needs to get caught up. Oh, is the ultimate? Ultimate coming in. Oh, it went away. Oh, that sucks. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. I need to be careful because if you're... Oh, he's got it. I don't want to jack that. Oh! Minions! 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 Alright. Is this up? It is. Go ahead and ward the gold fury. I can take their mana buff, and then we'll head out. Whew, that was good. That was a really good exchange for us. Um, they got a little bit greedy, kind of on the back foot. That was a really good initiation by Odin. I don't know if he died or not, but that was really, really good. Didn't trap everyone, and that's kind of what you what you want to do with the Odin Odin ult is you don't want to trap everyone. You want to trap just enough for us to get kills, um, and beyond that, you don't want to trap anything else. You don't want to get like all 10 players in the spears because then you're just going to kill people. But if you can get like one or two, maybe three if everyone's with you and you have uh, people that can attack over the spears. The only thing I can do um, over the spears is the water spout. But I can do my ultimate technically, but that's a bug like I said. So that's probably not going to be around for long. There might be a hot fix soon or anything like that. The only thing that can go over, the, you can't go through the spears. You're supposed to only be able to go over the spears um, like a, a jump. And for some reason, or Hades can do it, but Hades, uh, Hades movement ability is not really considered a dash, it's a, it's a jump. The only thing is instead of going up, he goes down. Technically, he goes into the ground and pops up. <laughs> he turns around. Oh boy. Their Aquang's doing really good. I mean, he's dying, but he's getting good farm, I should say. Oh, they're going crazy. Yeah, they're not going to go. I really recommend you guys learn to use this uh, communication system. It's really, really key. You can do a lot with it. Are they coming for me? No. Attacking from the side here. Odin's on the right side. It's only four. We only have four. Bastet's farming right now. 
And now that I have my gem, when I land abilities on them, they get really slow. It also affects my floodwaters, which makes them just super slow. The ward's paying off! Look at that! Go ward! Go ward! Good job. Whoa. Did you just ult a wave? Right before a team fight? Oh! Yep, I don't want to get caught in that. Detonate. Yeah. It's decent harass. Best at still farming. Get that Bakasura. Well, this is pretty boring. <laughs> Apologize for this, guys. Sometimes this happens where people are just too afraid to do anything. It's just going to take that that leap of faith from someone. And by leap of faith, I mean Odin's leap. <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. One of the Odins is going to go. That's what's going to happen. It has to happen. Best debt is going crazy. Right. Let me go ahead and put another one of those up. No, we can't really engage that right now. Let's keep it super fed, but... <laughs> Oops! <laughs> so... I have to spam it sometimes. It's turning into Anubis. Anubis and Bakasura are heading up. Anubis is gonna get out, but Bakasura. Oh, Anubis! Nice! Oh no! Release me, I command! So that's what happened. Uh, that's kind of what we were waiting for, is someone to screw up like that. They kind of split up and split push, but they really didn't have the... Uh, oh, surrender. Well, that's my Hebo game, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I really displayed it. Um, here's the scoreboard for the end of it. Um, and that's it, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you in my next video.